match has started. We see some shooting. Oh, it's only go a few centimeters from the players. Oh, this grenade may end this match. Miss the explosion and it's a hit! What's happening? Did he run out of ammunition? What will he do now? It's a magazine! Incredible! And we have the gets a box with incredible skins from Keydrop. We also have something special for all the viewers. With the above promo code, you get 50 cents to start with and 10% bonus from deposit. And we've seen it in the playoffs. And look yeah. at how close those odds are to start things off. B&E actually slightly favored here as, oh Wait, my goodness. No one's at the bomb. Um, the bomb is still yet to be picked up. Xfloud jumped over it, missed it. We'll just about pick it up. This is so much time and it's allowed the B&E to get into position. The trades are going back and forth. Absolutely dynamic. And the, with the bomb is still yet to go down because both players are stuck in, wa in water. Oh, a massive. Big risky play. As Calix will find the opener, but GXX is position phase off. And he if, if he needed to, also look at center as uh, centery. How down, my goodness, the support player of major just floats an entire battle of utility straight on over. And X Clown doesn't win long. Frigon gets a freebie. Santaris does at least trade. Ooh. And this is where we need Santaris to go huge. Is not given another opportunity though. As Synopsy comes in from the back lines and now in an isolated 1B for himself. But it's not the worst endeavor if they are just up against Pistol for the most part. Perhaps I've spoken too soon. Oh, Zentara is out of any range with his trusty AK 47. And with that, Eternal Fire, they've got an advantage. X Cloud, though, he will play as well. So, Eternal Fire in quite a nice position to potentially upset this round. But look at one flap show. Look at where he is. There, yet the flash is going to full blind him. And he gets taken down by Zantaras. And one flap is jumping in. Molotov trying to isolate the two fights. Zantara is very low. We'll find him in the side. Play from Rick on here. He's extending back in towards the middle, but oh. does catch Emo completely off guard. Major, thankfully, able to trade. That means GXX with 19 seconds. Has to withstand the whole offensive, and he does good for the first. Zantaras will be next up for the chopping block, but those nades are doing a bit of damage. A lot of damage! And he's still alive. Close range hits the shot. Bomb gets denied. Six seconds, and here the rotations are. But Calix and Major, are they enough? No. Time is of the essence. Looking for a way back in, but Major already pulled one. Flatro, oh my god! Bad news, Eagles in a matter of mere Nothing moments. On this map. Period to go off on. The fact that Eternal Fire did this. I think that was a massive oversight on their perspective. Um, and I'm not sure how they let slip. Um, three other teammates, and he's going hunting. He's finding his prey. And X Flower will be the first. In more next. But he will get the better of him this time. Eternal Fire still on a man deficit. It's only going to get worse. This is when we need the fantastic Xantar with the bomb in his sights and an understanding where the two are. He has to get hard clear here, and that will not be the case. He even smokes him more off. Oh, this could not be getting any worse for the, for the Turkish author. Their style with this new five and coach together. But for now, Eternal Fire, they're going to the B-bomb site, Tom. Oh, and Sineri, that is brutal. Emo goes down without ever seeing an opposition. Zantaris does at least trade one back this time. Taking down a key scout through the tally. x finds another on the entry. Sineri finally removed from barrels. Sprays continue to come on through, but a very risky jump up onto the side boxes will result in the advantage. Swinging straight back into the favor of their two Eagles. Zantaris will be removed as well as GXX. He's on the eternal fire, because if they were playing like they have done in this first half thus far, then my goodness, maybe there was a spot open for them as GX was the A bomb site. He spots out the bomb. That's going to cause an area to rotate up. He gets the first, gets the second. Will finally get traded out, but is that enough? A three versus two still in their favor. And still, though, we've got two players on the A bomb side, one player holding the flank, and that orb is going to Drops the floor. Sink. His body cascading down, and Major will not be. I, yeah. So impressed and a lovely flashbang to be fair. That was very nice. It's caught off one flat throw and Sineri caught with their pants down. GXX still on the rotation. He's from heaven. He'll be able to get all grouped up by CT. Yeah, Molotov clears out close water angle, but Emor's still on the back of the site and he's got plenty of crossfire set up with Calix. Synopsy falls. Calix and on a fantastic Super It's cool. almost a guaranteed ace for the man. Morris, though, Tom, he's looking for blood and he might just find it. Sineri catches him on a timing, but the flashbang from Xfloud supports him. He's able to get a first, but what a synopsy, but he does back a lot of information for the play and Calix. Might go down to Rigon's one way here, but it's major actually to open what things up name. further. My goodness me, the nade forces Calix out of position. It's fantastically oh. done by B&E, but they need to start finding the frags. The GXX will be the man to deliver. Orp brains true. Emor falls 3v3 again. And the 
Rick on that is a disgracefully good headshot. Kallix an even better trade despite his low HP. And Flatro finds another. Kallix still fighting. The bomb is ticking away. And Kallix, what a lovely headshot. Allowed them two rounds to their tally. Despite some of his best efforts, Kallix cannot be the only driving force. There's GXX. My goodness, the all brings through for a second. His readjustments have been spectacular. And Juan Flatro. Well, he's next in line, sees two on the cross, is in an isolated position, but they don't clear him! He's been gifted a 2k spray down, Emo now in the 1v1! Rigon, he has so much to do here. Emo might finally be able to spurn a turn of fire into a third, go for the fake tap, and that's a lovely... ...performance we need from him, especially here on Overpass. Kalix instead, the hero for Eternal Fire, won't yet be challenged, instead it's x Cloud as Synopsy charges his way onto the beat bomb site. A huge error in the pistol occurred here, in the previous half from Eternal Fire. Emo in with a dastardly double, though, the Julie thing on true. He's only going to find another one from his position as Emo looks to continue on firing. Looks to trade weapons back to a USP, but it's Antares the one. Yeah. They don't have Util. They have, a, they have a nade and a flash, and that's it. And B&E, with 30 seconds left, are looking to group up towards the B-bomb site, but there are only two players here right now, but one flash is going to get caught off guard. He's out by himself, too far ahead of the rest of his team. There's a contact between GXX and and Exploud, he's gonna come out on top. And oh, everything's cascading in their way. Major last alive. He could stop this. He could stop this right now. But a deflated eternal fire. Still though, they have money. Not impossible, but Rigon being booted up is gonna even back the to a four versus four. Really? It have got Rigon, who's very aggressed out of Monster. He's going to get flashed through. No one's seen him just yet. He'll get spotted by two, and the Orp will strike him down. Tenere and GXX left in a two versus three, now making a one versus three. The Orp, we've seen him do it before. We've seen him here, but he might not anticipate Kallix so close. He does, and he gets the kill without taking much out. damage. Zantara is peeking in. Left eye peek. It's not going to favor him, but he's going to see GXX. He's going to try and save the Orp back over at the end of this one because GXX has no money, but he's walking into the crosshairs of x Cloud, who could use a nice confidence booster as GXX. Like this. The only issue is that it's still very much retrievable, and especially he's got. He's got the A1S, and they've heard x Cloud fall off. x Cloud does not anticipate not to be so far forward. Yes, he will get traded imminently, but with the bomb going down, B&E can still count this one as a victory. They've taken him three up short. Bomb being defused. He's going to oh, get the no. tag. Nobody forces him off the bomb. Glock! Sonari with the Glock gets the first frag. 7 HP. They're both so low. Kalix is on 1 HP. He's got the kit, he's got the AK, and he's going to tap it. Suneri, ice in his veins. Isn't going to get fooled once, isn't going to get fooled twice, isn't going to get fooled three times, but Kalix connects. Oh, that would have been poetic if the Glock was able to do it, but no. They've been given an inch, and so far they're making a mile off it. And Amor, that's a, a molot Excuse me, a flashbang peek towards Monster alludes to nothing. But next will find oh. the first major, the second, and bad. Eternal Fire really have warmed up into this game, and the gate swinging. They were just knocking towards the open arms of that trained in orb. Rigon does not get oh. anticipating something like to happen, but he might get the better hand on X Floud. Still, though, they're coming out of short and they're going to be going into the meat grinder. One Flatro has to utilize a frag right now. He has to get something. He sees where they are. But the issue is his team are falling. The bomb is in their hands. 20 seconds left. And he will finally get something. He's on the other way. He's on the other side of the map. His GPS has gone AWOL. And he's lost. Oh, this is really coming away from them. It's out of fire. They're doing these rounds flawlessly. Privilege due to the nature of the economy. This one Flatro has been allowed to hold on to an upgraded rifle. But unfortunately for him, doors. And it took him, what, only to have a pistol rather than an orb to get that open. There is Sineri finds one more. Things start to spiral out of control here for Eternal Fire. As Emor and Kalix are split right now. I think oh. they're going to need to group up soon. Him looking the wrong way. He's going to hear them because they've started running. Emor's been given a lifeline. They haven't cleared him out. GXX will get spotted. The Deagle is not the weapon you want in position. And equally, the orb is very difficult at close range. And one flat throw for one versus two for the map. Finds the first. Emor with the orb will neutralize. The cheer puts their team in a Ooh. rocky, rocky spot. Oh, and Rigon, he could have taken two scouts to Vitaly there, does end up with one onto Emo. Dancing around the back of bathrooms, there will be no more for Rigon to do as Centaurus spins on out in the nick of time. Oh, They've got could... the wrong idea, though. They're on the B-bomb site. A minute left. If they find Sineri, which they do, they're gonna... one flat throw so, so low. 
and GXX is tagged down as well. Kallax with this A1S has to go huge, and that's a good that's first absorb. Let's make sure we can track that in case he spams it too much. And Kallax could be doing it all, and he's gonna have to. A one versus one. GXX switched over to the AK. Smoke on the bomb, and he spots out Kallax tucking around the corner. Head down, he's surviving. That could be enough. Tap of the bomb, and he's caught the buff. Kallax swings oh, out, gets the no. kill. Is there enough time? No, there's, there's no not. Eternal fire. They get so far. They bring it to the- It was very dead even, but well, here we are. We're going off with a bang because Immort with the dual breast is going to jump up onto apartments. Boosted up by x -Foud, Instantly traded though. Very nicely done. The and perfection. And then one flat is looking to step up with him as well. Vantara's a major trying to go through that doorway. And well, they won't even get out of it. Kallax, they know where he is. One versus three. Well, one versus four. He's already got one of them. And yeah, well, then. from x -Foud in towards the apartments. It does give up his positioning, his major. He's already pre-lined up the nade, so despite that smoke, big damage done to Sineri. Can he push through this smoke? Yes, he will, but that results in his demise as Emor deals with one flat throw. Rigon, it's a nice frag to find to Vitaly. Kalix expends a smoke in order to get out of dodge, but Major ensures that Synopsy can't dodge the bullets of his A1S. Rigon, the sneaky Swiss just to make his way further. Him forward. and Major are going to clash heads towards ramp. GXX knife out. And gets caught on fire would have won that first map. Emor, though, does not win out. No, yes, he does. He does win out the first. He Look at Rigon right now. He could catch Santaros off, off guard, especially with that nade being pulled and the smoke about to vanish. But oh, he gets hit. Oh, that's unfortunate. Santaros will get forced out by a Molotov. But Rigon, they know where he is. Attempted to jump into window. On site. That smoke and jungle is so good. It completely blocks out both X Floud and Major. Both the Orpers walking wounded. One flat throw is tagged down. So it's going to come down to the Battle of the Rifles. And they're going to clash here. One flat throw. Lovely first headshot. And both the players now from CT. X Floud. One versus three. Oh, this could be very winnable. The bomb's planted at far from the Orper. But now he's been spotted. No smoke for X Floud and no kit either. Actually, smoke's being dropped from the bomb. But still no kit. And oh, GXX no. is going to lose his life. He sees both of them. Long range on one. Kallax taps away. He hits the shot, but Imo does trade him. Very nice shot from the Orpa there, but one flat shot information. He knows where they, where two of the players are. We'll miss the shot on the first and might not even get either of them. But in the meantime, one flat shot is If you down. look at the economy of Bad Doozy, just... he's going to throw that smoke. But Eternal Fire have the read. They have three players here, and they're going to start off quite nicely with Imo. The only issue is, though, GXX is trained on CT. Has a very lovely smoke, which allows him to get away. But one flat try. There is oh, still what? some utility remaining. Kalix now tries to spin round back boxes. GXX is none the wiser. Bomb is denied. Orp is further utility and gunfire rains on in. But the spam does good damage. Genaria looks to do even more. Trying to isolate x -Flout. Does not do so successfully here. As Eternal Fire do a fantastic job of holding on. And that flashbang is brutal. This as is soon looking as good, start, though. Yeah. Still, is he just looking to see if anyone's coming from behind? And, well, he's got the right idea, but the wrong area. And Synopsy getting a little bit cheeky, running that's around. Nice. Yeah, that's a sixth on the board as they double the round count of the opposition. And they yeah, also edges good. his way towards the palace spot. At this, got four players on the eight on side defending. Rigon will actually get the first because X-Files getting mollied. Will be stuck behind the smoke. Rigon, two and a half kills and he's still standing. Major will finally quell him. He's taken so much damage and the Molotovs forced him out. A three versus two. Money. And, ooh, I don't think they hunt as well. That's the only issue. I mean, with Scenario on the Galil, I reckon they can expend him if he's the entry. Yeah, I think yeah. they're both rotating over. This is going to be an attempt from Eternal Fire as Antares does pick off the first. And now that they're both grouped up towards CT, they don't realize that Synopsy behind them, surely. Yes, they do. Emor bags one. Scenario now. The person with just a Galil, as you alluded to, has five bullets and the weaker weapon. Cuts down Emor to a measly HP. They dance around with a Glock. My god, he hits him again, but no! The Glock doesn't do enough that said and done. It's a fourth And this time they're gonna be here. Zantara smoked off. The smoke is bad and it actually favors B and E. So there he won't be able to actually gonna miss him as well. But in the meantime, Kalex has died over on the A bomb side. The opening they need is there, but Zantara is still raining, and he has to do it all by himself now. Nine bullets left. GXS with the awful fall as well. Picks up the AWP Synopsy would have been the next to fall, but he won't right, be. I look into the night, and they got the util to do it at least for now. Smoke oh, top. top of the bomb as Rikon catches Emor. Said it's all down to X Club now in a 1v2. He's got shot before in this game already, but Synopsy. He cut down to 45. Rikon joins the tandem. 
How is Samiri going to allow this much presence with a man on catwalk? Regardless, he has failed one of Latro. Now, is he about to make the same mistake? Yes, wow. he will. Pete Centaur is massive in a double. bit of an underwhelming round from Bad News Eagles, if I do say so. He needs to understand they can't just peek Santaris. He's going to show them yet again why single handedly saving Eternal Fire. And Santaris top mid, or are they just going to hear him? USP out. Pulled out, pulled out. He sees them. He lands the shot, but onto one of them. X Flower tags him down to 20 H3. And GXX is just biding his time, waiting for Synopsis to come around the corner. He peeks into the angle. He does not and have this one covered, apparently, and still Major presses onwards. He's up to the pillar at this point. But he's not going to be able to deny that we saw an overpass. The the scoring doesn't necessarily depict what's really happening, and it might even be 11-4. This map has felt closer, but B&E might just do one better on their scoreline. Well, Calix looks to deny, but Synopsy Cha-Cha slides his way into Calix's forehead <laughs> with that nice bullet, but Zantar is on the flip side. He's not in a position to deny through that thick smoke. Regon's gone walking. Rigon's going for a marathon. He's put his sneakers on. He might be the difference maker, or he might not even be needed. Synopsy needs to hold off some time. Synopsy gets the first, but Zantara's no oh. kit. Tap the bomb. Rigon doesn't take the bluff just yet. Swings out, and Zantara's nails him. But as I said, there's no kit. There's no time. B and E. Even though they have no one alive, they'll still win the round. Don't mind me saying. Two clutches to pull them two of those four rounds. Just one flat destroyed. One flat is creating his own peak. Zantara is who, and now he's got some support from his teammate. Synopsy as well coming on the flank, but one flat has died without anything. Calix opening up with a double. And look at Sineri. He's being pressured from CT. He needs to make sure he survives, and he will. Synopsy now here to reveal himself. Lands the first headshot. Three but a full HP glocks left to deal with. Has to be headshots from here on out, and Sineri. Well, speaking of headshots, gets immediately dinked himself. They're playing a dangerous game from Firebox here. Not too much you can do about that. In the meantime, the full frontiers will be going towards the B site where Synopsy with Mag 7 could pop off. He could cook. He'll do the absolute opposite. He'll be frozen over. And Eternal Fire should be claiming their seventh. First gun rounds. They, um, granted, had a really bad. Sineri still sits patiently in towards ladder. A big flash. Bank Major gets a freebie. But the trade comes in. HP. Oh my god, there's no way Imor anticipates this, but he might just walk into his crosser anyway. Utility out, this is the timing he needs, and he'll find it. There's one more player in connected EC. This could be the round for B&E. It's all going to come down to Synopsy. Can he get one here in Sandwich? They might not clear him. They oh try to, but Synopsy with two quick kills and Deagle. Won't even need oh, have it all. They want to be going for something that's going to be a little bit grouped up and fast. But right now, they are just taking mid control. They're going to leave Major towards Chair and Delpam. And Zantar is coming late through underpass. In the meantime, Immor a hand here. Because if the X2 is coming to the A on site, he could be utilized, especially when Synopsy, who we were just getting praised to. The here. There's not much util on the CT side, but there's none left for the T. So they've got to rely on their aim. And Calix will deliver the first. Rigon will trade swiftly out, but with a 3v3. And such limited use for a retake. They're actually going to kill Zantara. I'm going to retract my previous statement. Rigon finds another fragment. X Cloud. Oh my god, it's a 2k spray down. Almost a 30 with some o'clock. Oh what? my god. To take things into his own hands. Forcing forwards through the apartments. Will he clear the corner? A stack up towards the apartments. Lee Synopsy in a bit of bother. They'll be forced on through by X Cloud, though. And they might just give him a 2k here. If they're not careful, Synopsy could. Completely curled this round on his head, but the big problem now is that Eternal Fire have free reign on the b -box. I wouldn't completely put it out of the picture. But he gets spotted as the round on the weapons if they want to be taking this one home. Good early damage onto that aforementioned Zantara's. In more tag down, both AKs are shell of a human, and the pistols are trying to make their way out of apartment. The pistols are doing well because it was one of the chance of a lifetime, and Zantara's just might make it so they can't even save. How is this happening? Edging his way backwards could well also be caught off by Santaris. Oh, the classic be the end of the world. GXX on the flip side of not the angle, but he's still going to stay there. He will see nothing. And in the meantime, there's an absolute slaughter over on ramp. But one for one, one Trey throw throws out the first flashbang. A support from CT. Synopsy peeking out. Tries the first. Transitional to the second, but cannot land it. The AWPA. Reduced behind that smoke. And one flat throws to the leg of Major. GXX lands one in Santaris. 
One versus three. He's been the hero so many times and he might just do it again. He knows where one is, but it's not aware of Rigon. Try swings the all. He was in this map so far. Uh, he was could have anticipated Freddy. A pop, a pop, a pop. This is perfect. Scenario is stuck. Scenario's all by himself. The rotations are very fast for connected. No Love way. Up. Trades one for one. Everyone's dying, but it's coming out of it. Uh, eternal fire. One fat throw. Gets spammed through the smoke. Rigon gets one through CT and the bomb shall be planted. Rigon goes for it again, and Xantares on for the one versus two 4K. The nade lands on him. 34 HP. Map in this series, one Flatro. Understand there could be someone here, but he has to the net, and that net shall be obliterated. GXX does no smokes right now, covering him. That Molotov will force him away, and the bomb site is Eternal Fires. Another Molotov to try and subdue GXX, but he's going to be able to push up oh behind my. it. Oh, what a shot! Two coming from CT, one from Jungle. This is still winnable for the Eagles. Speaking of eternal fire, that Molotov seemed to last forever as x Flout in front of the bomb, but it doesn't quite go far <gasps> enough. Will it need to be with the flames, but they will not be able to extinguish it. As bad news, Eagles. Not great utility. I love this mid aggression. Eternal Fire have been really good at taking this away from BNE and then leaving someone like Xantaras onto well, luck. to rain on here and a flash follows suit as well. Rigon will not be Molotov out of position and instead will cut down x -Cloud. That's the bomb. Rigon, what a massive readjustment. My goodness, as soon as you like it, it's all over. Surely Kallis can't win at a 1v5 here to keep them in the quarterfinals. He's at the back of the apartment. So many eyes trained on him and did an almost underwhelming.